that Joy of Creation is one of the best and most polished FNAF fan games. Well, at least story mode is. Its unique gameplay and how recognizable it is has earned it a spot in the Fazbear Fanverse initiative. But this video is not about the Joy of Creation, it's about the other Nixon project, Those Nights at Rachel's. Those Nights at Rachel's was Nixon's attempt to make a classic FNAF game, but in 3D using Unreal Engine. And yeah, it definitely is. The only problem with that is the 3D isn't really used for much besides the flashlight, and even then, that could have been easily made in Click Team. The 3D is more of a stylistic choice and not a gameplay aspect. It just sort of feels like a gimmick. It still plays like a FNAF game, it still looks like a fan game, but the 3D is just sort of there. Speaking of gameplay, the gameplay is just FNAF 1, but with a music box. That's it. The music box in this game is more annoying than anything because you have to run to the back room, shut the curtains, run back to the cameras, and repeat. As a stylistic thing, it's neat how the music box in Tanar is an actual physical thing and not just part of the cameras. The only problem with that is it makes the cameras even more useless because every animatronic besides two shows up at the doors. Doug and Rachel both show up at the left door, and you shut it with the Z key when you see them. The same goes for Pete and Bane at the right door, which you shut with the X key. The only difference is one animatronic on each side is slightly faster than the other. Despite this, it's still just two Bonnies and two Chicas. There is a desk you can hide under, but it just acts as a door, so there's not really a reason for it besides, oh, you can't shut both doors because of reason. Why not make it so one of the animatronics on each side can only be sent back by hiding under the desk? You only need cameras for Ray and nothing else because of the aforementioned music box. Tanar 2 is a part of those fan games that have cameras, but do jack shit with it, and it makes me infuriated, because your job is to be a night guard and watch the establishment. Not run a mile for six hours. You need to have a happy middle ground with camera usage. Don't pull a Dormitimus and make the cameras the only thing. Don't be like FNAF 2 and make the cameras completely unimportant besides one camera. It makes the game not as fun as it could be. Although Rachel's is incredibly flawed, I kinda like it. Don't get me wrong, it isn't very original, but the 3D does add an extra layer of style that's usually non-existent. In other fan games and even official games, the fact it's all in 2D means everything is warped and it doesn't have the same impact as seeing the animatronics and environment in 3D. It's honestly really, really scary. The game itself isn't very hard, but the 3D, at least for me, makes me panic more and causes the game to be more of a challenge. It's like a placebo. I just wish the gameplay was more original and had a unique identity besides Five Nights at Freddy's, but 3D. After the release of the Joy of Creation story mode, many, many people forgot about Rachel's and just labeled it as Nixon's other fan game. Which, yeah, it kind of is just Nixon's other fan game. It doesn't really have an identity. It's a nothing burger. That is until the sequel dropped. Those Nights at Rachel's 2 Reloaded is one of the best April Fool's jokes to come out of FNAF, rivaling even Scott's work, and is one of, if not the best FNAF fan game. Don't, don't click off the video! So why do I think Tenar 2 is the best fan game? Well, let's look at the gameplay. Tenar 2 is an arcade-style shooter where you must defend yourself from bloodthirsty animatronics using your trusty handgun. Different, harder animatronics yield more or less points, rewarding you for surviving increasingly harder challenges. The fun aspect comes from trying to get as high of a score as possible, and yeah, it's definitely fun. And that is all there is. You shoot animatronics and try to survive. So why do I think this is the best FNAF fan game? Look at this. A FNAF game has multiple animatronics coming at all sides, limited ways to defend yourself, and you have to survive until 6am. Tanar 2 is the exact same. Tanar 2 proves that anything can be a fan game as long as it has the three hallmarks of FNAF. Full frontal assault, limited defense, time-based survival. Those Nights at Rachel's may not be a very good game, but the sequel, unintentionally or not, is one of the best pieces of work to come out of this fandom. If this was a regular fan game like the original, I personally feel Tanar 2 would not be nearly as good as it is today. I love this game. Although Rachel's is a very, very flawed series, it holds a place in my heart for trying something new for the time. It may not be very fun, but it's clear to anybody that plays it the effort was there. I still think you should try it out, despite all the problems I have. And I mean, hey, you might like it. So why not give it a try? Or don't, I don't know.